welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be playing some spider-man remastered and uh, the game has recently been updated to support dlss free and um with the release of the rtx 1490 now i was gonna uh, try that out and see how that looks and performs so right now i'm playing the game in native and uh i'm just gonna play the game for a little bit just so you guys can get used to what the native performance is like and then I'll start putting on DLSS and then we can see how much of an improvement we can actually see from that. So Spider-Man in general, what an amazing game. 1039. Witnesses reporting armed men looting a commercial storefront. Officers needed on scene in Clinton. So I've got some people to help real quick. So yeah, I mean, Spider-Man's such an amazing game. Really, really heavy on the system. Probably one of the first games to really leverage um, high-end CPUs and um, fast memory so I've got decent DDR5 6400 megahertz at seal 32 and it's uh, been tweaked to be tightened even more as well so uh, I get pretty decent performance in spider-man but um, now that I've got the RTX 1490 you can see playing at native Hammerhead's guys are roughing with up uh, ray tracing on it's not a problem so before I go any further Seem to have forgotten to show you guys the in-game settings I'm currently running. So let's quickly do that now before I get into any action. So playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 120 hertz. Video reflex is on our DLS frame generation, which is basically DLSS 3.0. Um, all disabled. There's no upscaling tech being used right now. Anti-aliasing is just TAA. In terms of graphics, everything is maxed out at the moment. And... They fixed HBAO Plus, so that's no longer an issue. SSAO isn't the preferred option anymore. And, um, okay, that's pretty much it for the in game settings now. Let's keep an eye on the current performance I'm getting. Just gonna deal hey with fellas, these goons. Do you get special magic discounts? You got a death wish, huh? Deal with these guys. One more. Shaking down a storefront is pretty brazen, even for Hammerhead. But as you can see, getting around 80 frames per second when I'm, I'm on the floor. And while, while swinging around, you can get upwards of 100, depending on where you are. So, natively, at 4K, the RTX 1490 has no issues. Maintaining over 60 frames per second. Advised. Reports of a missing VIP witness in a Magia investigation. Incident is active near Times Square. Proceed with caution. What I'm going to do now is enable the LSS 3.0. So, first of all, I will enable the LSS frame generation. And then for anti aliasing, this will get overridden by whatever upscaling method you use anyway so i'm going to go dlss super resolution i want to use the quality preset and of course i've got dlss frame generation on now as we like to call it fake frames but look i'm not disputing that it creates latency and it's you know basically interpolation for pcs but if it feels good and performs well then I'm, I'm all in. So as you can see, I've jumped all the way up to 190 frames per second from around 90-ish to 100. So that's almost a 100% increase there, which is just insane. So let's see how this plays and how it looks. Um, it looks pretty good to me at the moment, but let's see how it how it plays in motion. So let's go and deal with these bad guys. Feels super smooth though, at least. Okay, so I think these guys are driving a car. Should be able to catch up with them. High speed chase with hammerheads, guys. Driving a police officer is a felony. Damn, messed messed it up. 
Just waiting for it to say triangle. You forgot to use your turn signal. Yeah, Spider-Man. Get these mob goons off the street. It does feel super smooth. I have to give it this frame generation feature. Now that's just Okay, so we've got some bad guys around that want to come around. Okay. Deal with you guys with my guys, eyes. If you worked this hard at a legit job, you wouldn't need to be criminals. Got enough okay. crazy drivers in this city without these guys on the streets. If you guys remember correctly, when I was on the street level before, I was getting around 80 frames per second, um, pushing 90. Now I'm doing 100 and basically 60, 70. So almost uh, at least 90% uplift, All which units. is Report crazy. Report a civilian being harassed by Magia. Officers in Murray Hill, stand by for further instruction. Right. Just going to help out this person. So yeah, looking forward to Mars Morales. And also more games supporting DLSS. 3.0 um, games like this in terms of latency it's not such a bad bad thing because you know it's not like it's a competitive shooter or anything okay let's see how you guys handle my special Really loving what they're doing with the PlayStation ports at the moment because I'm using a PlayStation wow, 5 pad. Guys seem to have unreasonable self confidence. Oh, man. And I'm getting full fast. support just out of the box, which is awesome. So, really, really, really enjoying these ports. We're going to get, I think, the um, Uncharted collection coming sometime this month as well. So, yeah, really loving what the PlayStation ports are doing for, for PC gaming. All units advised. Magia involvement suspected in a car bombing. Any officers near Madison proceed to the crime scene. What's so good about this uh, DLSS as well? It just makes the the actual car draw so much less power and as a result your car just remains super super cool. As you can see I'm only running 68% 70% fan speed and I'm getting like sub 50 degrees which is Ridiculous. This is something that the Friday 90 Ti would never be able to do and um, I've been presently surprised as how power efficient this card is. It seems that moving over to the TSMC fabrication process rather than uh, using Samsung's node has really changed um, what we would have expected of the uh, Lovelace in terms of power draw and um, you know it's literally just a more efficient card than my Friday 90 Ti. And, um, I'm actually saving money now, so it's awesome. So yeah, in all that talking, I lost track of those people I was meant to help. So <laughs> I'll try and find something else to do. There's a picture I've got to find here. But as you can see, guys, it, it just looks, still looks good, and it plays just awesome. Is reporting armed men looting a commercial storefront. Location is in the vicinity of Devil's Shelf. Guess I could find this picture a bit later. There are people that need my help, so let's go and do that now. So yeah, I mean, I was gonna get a water block for my card. Is around here. I originally planned on doing that, but with the temperatures I'm seeing with this card, it's basically changed my mind. I think I'm just gonna keep the car air cooled because I'm not really going to benefit too much from that. Hammerheads men are hammerheads guys. Not good. Hey Feel fellas, guys. do you get special Magia discounts? Well, let's see what you guys are about. Man, I don't like 
my spider is a little overpowered as I've already beat the game. Okay. Shaking down a storefront is pretty brazen, even for Hammerhead. Okay, all done. So I want to go around, um, let's see now, Central Park. Let's go around some foliage and vegetation, see how that affects performance. I'll text Yuri the location. Cops will be here in no time. Alert. A carbomb has been detonated. Backup requested. Reported location is near Midtown North. Over. So even amongst trees and more more foliage than normal, it doesn't seem to affect performance. I just want to look for like ghosting, which I haven't really seen, which is pleasantly surprising. So yeah, I mean, my first thoughts on DLSS 3.0 fame generation is a positive one. Uh, I did watch that Digital Foundry video that really showed that some of the frames, because it's basically generating a frame within a frame before the second frame, and um, it can look a little bit inaccurate at times, but. They said it's it's so quick you probably wouldn't notice it in real real time play, and from what I've seen, I have to agree. I'm just gonna have a look at some of these NPCs, make sure that they're rendered correctly. Yeah, you can get a selfie. I don't know how to do it, but it's all good. I mean, the people look fine. I'm looking at the uh, edges of all of this vegetation. It just looks super clear and crisp. One thing about the LSS 3.0 is a lot more sharper than 2.0 in general so that might not be to everyone's taste but I prefer it because it kind of makes it look almost native so that helps but anyway I don't want to go on too much longer I just want to give Spider-Man a quick test and with DLSS 3.0 and frame generation um, it really is just pushing ridiculous frames and it feels super smooth so um, I personally don't have any Felicia's issues. Felicia's son is in a vault close by. Got a meter there and rescue him. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Proceed to Sutton Place. Over.